Okay, welcome back. I am now going to show you how to kind of uh, maneuver around in Zoom. So I went to my email. I just signed up for my account. I went to my email. I clicked on the account that um, they gave me to activate it, and then it brings me to this page. So it says, welcome to Zoom, and I am going to put in my first name, my last name, and a password. It has to have upper and lowercase letters. Let's see if that works. And I'm going to write down my password because how many passwords do you have, right? All right, writing down my password so that I can memorize it later. So I'm going to put my password here. I am not going to invite colleagues at this exact moment. And then you can start a test meeting, or you can just go to your account. Okay, so here we go. So let's say that I want to start a meeting. I am going to go up here and put schedule a meeting. So let's say that you are, are going to need to schedule therapy or maybe you're going to do an IEP meeting. So um, if you can see up here at the top of the screen, it says schedule a meeting. I'm going to click on that. And then you can put a topic for your meeting. So let's say I put demo IEP, then you can put a description in there if you want to, and then you just scroll down. You're going to set your meeting time. Um, so I am going to set mine for, let's say I want to do it at 1.30, and then you set your duration. With a free account, the maximum duration is 30 minutes, and sometimes they'll let you go to 40. So I'm going to put the 30 minutes in here, zero hours, and 30 minutes. And then set your time zone. So we're in Arizona, so I'm putting my Arizona time. It has a drop down, so you can choose what you need. This is not going to be a recurring meeting, so I don't need that. Uh, yes, I do want it to generate a meeting ID because that's how I'm going to share and invite people to join the meeting via email. And then you can choose if you want, when you join the meeting, do you want your video on? If you do, you click on. And do you want the participants video to be on? Click on. If you do, if you don't, click off and then they'll have the opportunity to select it later. I always put both that they can join by telephone or uh, and computer audio because sometimes, you know, with text, sometimes things get a little crazy and you need to have options. Do you want anyone to, so you're going to be hosting the meeting, do you want other people to be able to join the meeting if you're not there yet? If you do, then you just click that. If, uh, if you don't, then you, leave, you don't click that. Do you want them to be muted? If you're having a big meeting and you don't want necessarily want people to be chatting beforehand, you can click this because you as the host will have control over that. So you could uh, mute all of the participants until uh, at a later time when you decide, when you, uh, if they're taking turns and they're gonna be able to talk. And then do you wanna record it automatically? You click here if you do, otherwise you can um, manually click the record, and then you save it. And then you'll have this, okay, so you scroll down, there's all your information. I don't need to save that. And I did not require a meeting password, 
but if you look down here at the join URL, so that is what people need that uh, link to be able to join your meeting. So if you want to send out an invitation, then you're just going to click over here on copy the invitation. And this will go to a clipboard and you can just put that right in the email and send it to all of your participants. So as you can see, it tells who's inviting, it tells the topic, it's got the link that they'll be able to just click on to join the meeting and away you go. So it's that simple to be able to set up a meeting. All right, stay tuned for the next video when I show you once you're in the meeting, what to do. All right, I'll see you shortly.